Welcome to a Dummy Skate Domain Assembly where we look at tips and tricks that can help you take your creations to the next level. Building a simple airplane in main assembly is easier than most people think. Start by jumping into assembly mode and let's build a simple box shape for this aircraft. This shape is pretty much all you need to get your plane going. The most obvious thing we need for an airplane is wings. So what we do is that we just extrude the wings out. To have the wings generate a bit more lift, you can bend them using Alt. And we move them up, say, 2.5 centimeters. To get our plane to roll, we need to add some ailerons. And to be able to control those, we can use a hinge. Let's place the hinge under the wing. To add our control surface, we go to chassis, pick an aeroplastic plate, add it on there, and then hold control to extrude out the width just a, a little bit. And just like the control surfaces, even the wings benefit from being aeroplastic. The next obvious thing is the pitch control. So let's add a tail wing here. Uh, we can use a hinge, just as we did for the ailerons, add a aeroplastic chassis to it, and let's extrude it out around 15 centimeters. An aeroplane also needs control for jaw, to jaw left and right, simply by using a servo. And we can try to squeeze in the servo on top of the hinge here. We add a aeroplastic control surface. Let's extrude that, meet in the middle, extrude that up. And now we have a complete airplane. The only thing missing right now is some thrust. So let's add a, a motor and a medium propeller. Now one thing to keep in mind when building airplanes is that you have center of mass roughly around where, where your wings are. So that center of mass and center of lift is sort of in the same place. For this specific lesson, make sure that you are in advanced mode and also in transparency mode so we can see what's going on. Transparency mode lets you see which part you are working on. The first thing we want to do with this plane is to give the motor some power. So we drag it in. So for this build, I want the power to be toggled on and off. Let's use left shift since we already have it here. So I connect left shift to toggle, toggle to power. For pitch, it's as simple as grabbing the rotate from hinge 2, hooking that up to W and S. For the roll controls, we need to do something a little bit different. Let's find hinge 1. And if we connect D and A to this and print it, you will see that if I want to turn, they both go the same way. This is why we went into advanced mode, because if we're in advanced mode, we can click rotate and then we can click mirror mode. This will give us an input on this node for the right wing and the left wing. So to fix this, we can use a node called negate. This will invert the signal that I'm sending. So I'm sending it a 1 and I will get a negative 1. Let's move this down so I can show you easier what, what I'm doing. So when I'm sending 1 to the left wing, I want to send a negative 1 to the right wing. So this way hitting D will raise the right side and lower the left side. To add some control for yaw, we need to add another input, Q and E. Find the servo that we added for the yaw control and let's drag in rotate and hook that up. Then we can print our bot and make sure that all our control surfaces work. So we have pitch up and down, yaw left to right, aileron's working as well. Now all of these are a bit slow, so in programming we can go in and we can change the angular speed on all these. I like to use 120, that seems to be fast enough. What we also want to do is limit the range of motion. Uh, let's say that the tail is only moving around 15 degrees. 20 degrees for jaw maybe. And for ailerons, I think we want this to be a bit flat first and then let's have it at somewhere around there. To not destroy our propeller when we try to take off, we can also add some landing gears. So let's quickly extrude down a place where we can add a normal bearing and let's also use the tiny wheels. And we also need some kind of tail, something to hold us leveled. Now this is pretty much all you need, but let's add some finishing touches like a windscreen. Obviously needs to be medium plexiglass so that you can see. You can also help slightly with takeoff by setting your tail wing to a slight upwards angle. Now let's print this with enter and see if it flies. So shift for throttle on. And then we pull up gently and we're in the air. So this is how easy it can be to build your own plane in main assembly. And if you need to tweak any of the handling, you can just make bigger wings, uh, bigger control surfaces, anything you want really. Use this method to build your own plane and take to the sky.